My dear people of Castry Central, I bring you warm Christmas greetings from my family to yours. May Christ, the infant King, dwell in our hearts and homes this Christmas in a very special way. And may he remain with us throughout the season and for the entire new year. Yes, Christ will come with the peace, joy, and laughter of Christmas despite our current challenges if we prepare our hearts and homes to receive him. Just as Mary and Joseph prepared the stable and the manger, so must we cleanse and empty our hearts to receive our King and our Savior. This should always be our most important preparation for Christmas. Over the past few days and weeks, I have been inundated with calls and messages and visits from constituents who fear the bleak outlook of the season, wondering whether there will be gifts, toys, lights, ham, turkey, and merriment. As a member of parliament, I am pleased to let you know that our office has doubled efforts this year to reach the vulnerable, the elderly, and those who have been hardest hit by the pandemic we currently face. We have deployed 10 community support workers within the constituency so that we reach those who truly are most in need. We thank you for your support and assistance as they visit your homes and communities. I am very pleased to inform you that we will be doubling the hampers we distribute this year and we will be delivering the children's presence in the communities. Please cooperate with our community support workers and avoid crowding when the gifts and hampers are being distributed. We thank all the agencies and businesses who have assisted us to make this possible with their very kind donations. I take time to thank and commend the Synergy team, the staff at my constituency office, the executive and members of the Castry Central constituency branch, and my staff and team members at the Department of External Affairs. Everyone has shown such commitment and dedication this year, and words cannot express my profound gratitude. I have been so blessed this year by you, my constituents. I continue to give God thanks for the grace and privilege of serving you. It is indeed a singular honor and blessing. As I close, the little ones and not so old ones amongst us will remember that the Grinch was not able to steal Christmas, although he stole all the toys, all the gifts, all the decorations and all the food so that there was not a crumb left. Certainly, the COVID Grinch has not been able to steal all the food and the gifts, as you will see. Remember, the Grinch learned a sordid lesson. Christmas does not come from a store. Christmas means so much more. Let us all make Christmas holier, better, and merrier than ever before. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs>